Uh, or, uh, look at him. In poor countries, in the rural areas, children die with a lot of frequency, and especially before they are five years of age. And the important thing is that these can be prevented. The tremendous health needs that exist in rural Nicaragua have existed for centuries. Lack of access to health care, people living in total poverty, lacking basic services like water, electricity, a lot of conditions that affect the health of people. When my dad, Dr. Gustavo Parajon, came here approximately 50 years ago, he saw these tremendous needs and the injustices. We started this program in 1967 when my wife and two children and I were ready to come back from the United States as uh, medical missionaries. It was very obvious that the only way that improvements could be made in the health of uh, rural people would be if they participated in the efforts to improve uh, their health. Dr. Gustavo taught me a lot of things in terms of committing to serving the poor. We think of people as, as poor as not having resources. However, he taught me that it's the other way. They have the resources to be able to come out of poverty. He used to teach that it is empowering them, that it's about uh, training them. It's about like giving them the opportunities to be able to reach their full potential. There were a lot of things that began back then and lay the foundation for Amos because really what Amos has done is to follow the same model of trusting and believing that local community leadership can be totally in charge and able to effect great changes in health in their own community. I think that in the developing countries, in the poor countries, the role of uh, medical doctors in great extent has to be teaching. Teaching others about health so that they can help themselves and uh, do much more good than actually treating. He found out that he himself was not the solution to the problems of the community, but that the solution actually lied in the hands of those who were living in the community. And also he knew that bringing up the new generations of leaders in the community was the only way of continuing with development. And that's why uh, educating and training community leaders to become health promoters, it's the way of saving lives. And that's the methodology that Amos uses to empower individuals in their communities to prevent death and to prevent disease. He sido promotora de salud durante 20 años en mi comunidad. Me inspiró el servicio, ver las necesidades que había en mi comunidad. Antes que llegar a, a Moza, a nuestras comunidades, la vida en nuestra comunidad era muy triste porque teníamos que viajar con los niños o con las embarazadas o con un herido. Pero desde que ya vino el programa acá a nuestra comunidad y nos está apoyando, es diferente porque ahora aquí nomásito podemos darle solución. Amos nos capacita a nosotros para que nosotros también empoderemos a nuestra comunidad y de esa manera podamos salir adelante. For us at Amos, we're at a really exciting time right now as we celebrate our 10th year anniversary and the 50th year of the anniversary of my dad initiating his work in the rural areas of Nicaragua. Amos has grown tremendously in the last 10 years and we're uniquely positioned to continue this work and expand a bit further. We're doing things in the urban areas like good diabetes control and education. Uh, in the rural areas we're training people how to recognize diarrhea and pneumonia. We've seen how teaching more people to reach more people really works. We've seen infant mortality dropped by 90% and we've had no pregnant mothers die in our communities for more than five years. 
So we're really encouraged by these results, but there's a lot more work to be done. Over the next 10 years, we believe we can make an even greater impact by empowering people to adopt healthy behaviors. And we have a plan to reach more people by sharing and replicating our model both in Nicaragua and around the world. Ultimately, in the next 10 years, Amos wants to continue working alongside people in impoverished communities to help them lead longer and healthier lives. Thanks to the collaboration, the help from churches, individuals, foundations, this work has been possible. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given Amos throughout the years. We would not be here without each and every one of you. 